Takayasu, five and nine. Oh, Miyabiyama 3 and 11, but uh, first of all, I gotta take my hand off to Miyabiyama for being able to return to this uh, ranking after so many years struggling uh, down in Juryo and down at the uh, uh, ranking file positions. And uh, Miyabiyama, although he has, he's only got three wins, uh, he's beaten some quality opponents, uh, starting with uh, Tonoshima, and then uh, he beat one Ozeki Koto Shoyu this time. So, what do you think about Miyabiyama's uh, 3 and 11 record? It's, it's 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 great. I mean, he's having a lot of fun out there, as you say. He he, he beat an Ozeki. He's an ex Ozeki who's been around forever. Now he had an ex Ozeki make it back to Sanyaku True. ever. True. And he managed it, and he managed to beat uh, a very young, strong Ozeki in the process. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's having a lot of fun, and uh, it was it was fun to watch. He's not. Sanyaku quality or caliber anymore, but hey, you, 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 hats off to the guy for giving it his best shot and coming up with some interesting wins in the process. His opponent this time out, that win over Kakudu yesterday, talk about a hats off performance. Yeah. Takayasu, he, he was on a seven bout losing streak before he beat Kakuryu, so... Uh, and, and, and again, you know, that, that, that power sumo that, that, that Naruto that, that Naruto, Naruto State was known for, that was some serious power in that match, in that game there. <laughs> that was a very impressive one. So what can we expect in this one, David? Well, Miyabiyama is a pusher thruster. He's a, he's, a, he's a pure pusher thruster. He can fight from a right hand inside grip. Takayasu can do both, actually. They're very, very interesting. He's a, he's a pusher thruster who's also very effective from the, uh, you know, a, a gripping position on the Mawashi. So it'll be interesting to see what Takayasu does in response to Miyabiyama's pushing thrusting attack. They met once. Miyabiyama was the winner in the one and only meeting. <laughs> Miyabiyama pounds away, so does Takayasu. Takayasu, look at that thrusting attack against Miyabiyama. Miyabiyama takes two licks, and Miyabiyama cannot stay in the dojo. Takayasu all the way with a thrusting attack, and Miyabiyama unable to recover. And Takayasu gets his win number six. Takayasu fan. Who knows? Could be his mother. Must be. <laughs> I don't know. With, with banners that... I don't know if mothers... Do Japanese mothers carry banners like that? I, in recent years, maybe. In recent years? Yeah. Takayasu is beating Miyabiyama at his own game. Yeah. He, he had a losing record this tournament, but there was so much good in what he did out there. And this is an excellent example of that. To be able to beat Miyabiyama in a pushing-thrusting exchange, and not just beat him... Close, he just out maneuvered him, out pushed him, out thrusted him, out everything him in this match. His hand placement was excellent, his hip placement was excellent. He's keeping up that forward pressure. He gives Miyabiyama no chance to shift left or right. That was it. That was the kind of sumo that Miyabiyama did when he was racing up the ranks to become an Ozeki. True. True. Can you see Takayasu uh, making Sanyaku within uh, this year? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. With with the, the performance he's put on this tournament, he's definitely got a got a good chance of making it. He's got a great uh, working environment under uh, working under uh, Ozeki. Huh? No, the, the, the Naruto. You know, we we said some negative things about the approach to training at Naruto Bay uh, over the course of the broadcast. But please don't you know don't don't get me wrong when I when I make that observation. It's a wonderful training environment. Let's take a look at the uh, Ozeki uh, Zensho Yusho Ozeki winners, winning a perfect record championship. When you're Ozeki, started out with uh, 1944 January Tony Yoshibayama, 1982 September Takano Sato, 1984 July Wakashimazu, 1987 Summer Orokuni, 1994 uh, Nagoya July Musashimaru, Takano Hana did it in. Uh, two consecutive basho at Ozeki in 1994 from September to November and the last man to do so was 2007 
May Tony Hakuho. Now, the, the point we should make it, this dates from the reestablishment.